He stole my heart last year. The guy did, man. He, he just he just stole it. He stole it. And when he finally got on the field, he was electrifying. He was clutch. You know what I'm saying? He had the toe drag swag. He was doing all of that. The man was Mr. Touchdown King. You know what I'm saying? Don't drop hardly nothing. Mr. 15 plus yards per carry. I mean, per catch, uh, per, per reception. I'm going to get my words right. It is none other than my man Gabe Davis, y'all. Give, give my man Gabe Davis a hand right here because, yo, that dude right there, I have an incredible man crush on Gabe Davis. Ain't even going to lie. Don't even care about it. I see the man in public. You know what I'm saying? I might try to give him a hug. He might throw me to the ground. It's all good. I love me some Gabe Davis, man. Love me some Gabe Davis. I tell you, I kid you not. This guy right here, he's going to explode this year. He is going to explode this year. You watch what I say, okay? On my mama, okay? On my mama, baby. Gabe Davis is going to explode this year. He's going to be that dude. He's probably going to be a top 10 wide receiver in the National Football League. Probably, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be up there. Gabe is going to have that kind of a, a, a year. Just, uh, just a, an incredible ascension. We've already seen glimpses of it over the past couple of years. Whenever he got his opportunity, the man just performed. But if that wasn't enough... He spends his offseason grinding, putting in work, doing everything he can to perfect his craft. Josh said, yo, my man Gabe was on the jugs all offseason, just catching balls all day long, just, just catching them balls. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I ain't going to say it. I thought I started to say it, but I'm not going to say it. But he was catching them all, all offseason. But then what he did was, He's like, you know what? I'm 6'3", 207, 210. But I think I just want to go full on Megatron this, this, this upcoming year. And so Gabe Davis went on an incredible workout regimen. Like the man was just freaking lifting up all these kind of weights, getting big. And he put on like 17 pounds. Of lean muscle. The dude just got like, like you hear about like guys, oh, I added about five pounds. You know what I'm saying? No, this dude is like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm finna, I'm finna add close to 20 pounds. 20, put out 20 pounds. 20 pounds, man. Of muscle. Muscle. I saw this clip he put out on his Instagram, you know, back in the, the, the early part of, of the off season where he's working out. Dude, it's freaking huge. Like his shoulders are like the size of my head. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, and I got a big head. Yeah. No. So it, it, the dude just got big, just big, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just huge. And then we hear in training camp, we hear in training camp that that Gabe is, and I saw somebody had mentioned it too, that Gabe is unguardable. He's, he, like, you, you can't get, like, can't nobody stop the man. I can't nobody, can't nobody stop him. He's definitely, yo, Jerry, Gabe is going to push 1K, man. That was a that was an on my mama take that Gabe Davis and Stefan Diggs are each gonna have a thousand yards receiving this year. We're gonna have two wide receivers with a thousand yards receiving this year, and Gabe Davis and Stefan Diggs. But Gabe is gonna have that kind of I think he's gonna have that kind of jump. When you look at his yards per reception, they're ridiculous. And it's not just I can see if it was just one year, you know what I'm saying? No, over the course of two years, two his two years playing for the Bills, he averages over 15 yards per reception. We talk about a deep threat. My man Gabe has been doing it for two years. Over 15 yards per reception. We saw how he got behind the defense of the, of, of the secondary of the Kansas City Chiefs in that division around game, you know what I'm saying? When we came off of, we came out of that, that, that second half and, and, and Gabe just got, I think it was like a 70-yard bomb. Josh just caught him in stride. Got behind the defense, man. Man, Gabe runs a 4-5. How's a guy running 4-5 get behind defense? It's because he got that game speed. You know what I'm saying? He may not be that fast when you clock him, but you put on the pass, you put on the game, game time. Gabe is grease lightning. He can do it. You know what I'm saying? And Gabe has been showing it for the past two years straight that all you need to do is give me an opportunity, give me some time, and watch me work. Let me work. 
And Gabe, this offseason and in the training camp, has been nothing but work. He's been doing nothing but work in all offseason, getting ready for the season, and in the training camp. He's been putting in that work, putting in that work, making Kyrie Elam, man, and all them get Dane Jackson, making them look like they some scrubs, man. You know what I'm saying? Like making me question our, our, our first round draft pick like that. I ain't gonna lie, I did question. I'm like, man, yo, man, come on, man, is this the right guy? Is this the right dude we got? But our, our receivers are just that elite, man. They're just that elite. And so when you look at my man, Gabe Davis, like it's hard, for, it's hard for me at least, you know what I'm saying, not to get excited about him. And let me prove to you uh, just why also I'm so excited because I saw this, I saw this tweet um, the other day, man. This was put out by, by, by PFF, um, PFF Buffalo, right? So, so let's, let, let, me, let me share it because I want you guys to, I want you guys to read it. Okay, read it with me. Ron, Gabe is a steamroller. You got that right, man. He's, he's, oh, dude, he's going to be so freaking good. He is going to be so good. Let me, let me show you, let me show you what PFF put out. Okay. Because this is crazy. Let me know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? Y'all see my man Gabe right there catching? All right. Hold on. Let me, let me take this off. Y'all see this? All right. So this is what they said. They said, yo, Gabe Davis. Oh, you can't see that. Hold on a second. Let me X out of that. There it is. All right, right here, Gabe Davis, 93.6 receiving grade on intermediate routes last season, which is the sixth highest among all wide receivers. How you say all in, 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 in Spanish? I don't know. How you say it's all to me, right? A-L-L, baby. All receivers. Sixth highest among all receivers. So what does that what does that mean, man? So what what is that saying? What is he saying? That Gabe can be utilized on multiple levels of the field, and in the intermediate level of the field, intermediate routes, Gabe is sixth among all wide receivers in the National Football League when it comes to uh, receiving grade on intermediate routes, ninety three point six. The guy is not just a big dude who you just target in the red zone. You know what I'm saying? He's not just a big dude that you just kind of, you know what I'm saying, have like these little quick, these little quick passes too. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you do with a lot of slot guys. Gabe Davis can be used everywhere, everywhere. And his bread and butter, the intermediate areas, man, the intermediate routes. Oh my gosh. Didn't we see that last year? Didn't we see that? That's, that's why he's averaging over 15 yards per reception. That's where he lives. He lives right there in that area. And then you think about it, when you have a guy like Stefan Diggs on the other side who demands attention, you'd be a fool to leave Stefan Diggs by himself one-on-one. -on -one. You'd, be, you'd be nuts. Defensive coordinator gonna look, needs to get fired for that because that DB is going to get cooked all day. You know what I'm saying? So, so he's going to draw so much attention already. Then Gabe Davis is going to be sitting there on the other side, mossing people. Bodying people up, 6'3", 230 almost. Just, who's who's going to stop that? And then you let him get ahead of steam, he's, he's, he's rolling over you. He's rolling over you. You know what I'm saying? So Gabe is fit. He, ah, I cannot stress this enough. Do y'all feel me? Can y'all feel my passion about Gabe? Man, Gabe is going to explode this year.